What's happening guys, it's Dan from General Tech HQ here, and today I'm going to be running through the top 10 must-have applications for your iPad. I hope you enjoy! So, in no particular order, we're going to start off with the first application, which is Twitter. And this is a social networking site, which if you don't know about it, uh, then you really should know about it. It's brilliant. It's a great way to connect with people, and just really stories that are going on around the world and trending topics. Now, of course, at the minute, we're on the General Tech HQ account, and if you don't follow us already, make sure you go and give us a follow on Twitter. Now, the really good thing about this iPad app is it uses the full you know, size of the screen to... Uh, show all the tweets and give you a better interface than say the iPhone does. So of course we've got all of our discover uh, tags here and we can look at the hashtags that are trending and the top tweets. It's a really we well made application and I really highly recommend it. The second application is very similar and it is Facebook and this is another free application like Twitter. I'm not actually going to open it because there's not really much to see. It's very similar, it has a really good interface and you can look at people's photos on that full beautiful retina display, uh, the full iPad screen and you know it's a really really well made application again. The next application I'll be showing you is Flight Radar 24 Pro. Uh, now, this is for people that are interested in aviation, or maybe they're just maybe they're just interested in what aircraft are going over their houses. So basically, this will uh, give you your location, which of course at the minute for me is London, um, and it will show you all the aircraft that are flying over or near you anywhere in the world as well. So say if someone you know is taking a trip or something, you can actually track their aircraft from uh, takeoff to landing. It's really, really brilliant. So say if we just look at this random aircraft here, a Cargo Lux. When we click onto it, it will give us all the information. It will tell us where it's going from, uh, and who. It actually has an actual picture of the exact aircraft itself. It will also give us information such as the ETA to its destination, its distance to destination and of course its altitude which at the minute is 32,000 feet. It also gives us other information like its reg number and the tracking course. It's such a well made application and you can even set it to uh, give you alerts when certain aircraft and airlines are going to be in your area. Even if you're not an enthusiast of aircraft I think it's just a really cool technology app. Next up is iPhoto, and in my opinion, the best iPad photo editing app. So let's say, for example, we've taken a picture on our iPad, iPhone, or whatever, and we've transferred it on, and we can just really easily open it up onto iPhoto uh, from the library section here. And then we can go straight on to editing it, and there are just so many features. And this is an app that's made by Apple, so of course it's going to be good. Now you can see here, just really the design and kind of makeup of this app is really impressive um, and well worth the cost. So you can do stuff like repair, which will take away, say, creases in this cloth, like so, and you can see there they were gone, which is really, really great. If you wanted to just lighten up that Apple logo a bit, you can see there that's what we're doing. Obviously not very professionally at all. Um, and, you know, one of the great things is that you can control stuff like the sky and the green uh, greenery in a photo. Of course here we don't have any sky or forest kind of backgrounds, but uh, you get the idea. And probably one of the main effects, kind of Instagram-like, is uh, these artistic effects. So for example, we can have a sepia kind of look and use our finger to pinch to make a kind of um, black border. You can also change the colours of the photo and also add borders. The possibilities are endless on iPhoto. One of the most kind of unique things is probably this cropping where you can crop at an angle which is really impressive. So while we're on the theme of photos and photography I have to show you Padgram and this is basically Instagram for the iPad. Now the interesting thing about this is you can't actually take photos but most of the time for Instagram users it, you're looking at other people's photos so this is a General Tech HQ account again if you don't follow it make sure you do go and follow that um, but say if I'm looking at my feed you can really have used the rest of the display and obviously the size of the iPad to view the pictures really really nicely so you can see here it kind of enlarges the image 
of course, and gives you all the comments and uh, who has liked the image. It also gives you the option to save the image um, and share it. Now, as I say, you can't actually take photos using the iPad to put them on, but I just think this is a darn cool app and looks brilliant on the iPad. Coming up next is Real Racing 3, and of course I was going to have to include a game on the iPad. I mean, again, this is one of the main reasons that you'd get an iPad, is to just have a go at all these amazing games that are on the App Store. So I'll be showing you Real Racing 3, which is a new release by EA, and uh, it really does have amazing graphics. So straight away when you're into it, you can see it has a really lovely flowing kind of graphics, and they are just amazing so let's have a quick race, shall we? See here I got my Bugatti. So let's do this. So this is actually controlled with the accelerometer. Uh, so I will be moving the iPad a bit. And one of the amazing things and features about this is uh, time shifted multiplayer. And basically this means that you can kind of record a race for your friend and they can play against you. And it's not like a ghost. Even if you hit the car, it can change the other person's time, even if they have finished the race. If you want to learn more about that, go and look into it on EA, because it really is an impressive technology. So we're going to start this race. And off we go. So we accelerate by pressing the right of the screen, and of course, as I say, using the accelerometer to race. Now, this isn't the only camera angle. We have a kind of on the floor, we have a bumper camera angle, and of course inside, which is probably one that most people will use. But this really is a brilliant game and looks amazing on the iPad. Next up is a classic really, and it has to be Google Earth. You want to be in touch with your world, uh, as I really love to be, and I like to know where places are, and obviously Apple Maps really aren't up to the par at the minute. Maybe in iOS 7 we're going to see a bit of an improvement of that. Uh, but anyway, Google Earth gives you a 3D view of the world that we live in. And we can zoom in and search anywhere in the world and we can see a bird's eye view of it instantly. So if we want to go over to New York, it will fly us over there. And we can go ahead and zoom in. And we can look at specific streets and we can use Google Earth to get directions, anything really. And it's not just a bird's eye view anymore with this new Google. Uh, you can actually move like this. And we now have 3D buildings, like you can see, which really is amazing. And it's perfect for navigation and really just fun exploring. And next up, I have to show you another brilliant game. It's called I Slash HD. And uh, this really just uses full kind of use of the retina display and uh, is a really fun game. So let's just take a look at this. There are so many levels uh, on this game, it's unbelievable. So basically the objective is to cut down or get rid of this bamboo stick by cutting this shape without hitting those spinning things because if you do that then you basically die like that right maybe I should try an easier level because I'm very rubbish <laughs> so let's go for the easiest level possible level one um, so basically you want to chop off as much as you can of this wood to get it to the end of that without hitting the metal flying things. It's a really, really fun and addictive game and as I say, using full size of the iPad you can swipe. Next up is Google Chrome and you're probably thinking why am I showing you an internet browser in my top 10 when there's a perfectly good one which of course is Safari which is built into the iPad itself. Well, it's because Google Chrome is just better. I actually made a comparison video, Google Chrome v Safari, so go and check that out. I'll leave uh, the, the link in the description so you can watch it afterwards. Um, now, what really is good about Google Chrome is it remembers what you have been looking at and uses that uh, to recommend websites and your favourite websites. 
You also have the ability to add really better and more accessible bookmarks and you can connect Google Chrome to your uh, main PC or Mac which is just brilliant. All in all, I think it's a really good browser and definitely one to have on your iPad. Finally, the application that I'm going to show you now is called Calculator, uh, and it's called MyScript Calculator. And the unique thing about this is that you use your handwriting to uh, actually put the calculation into the iPad. So you can see there, it's really, really good. And as, again, for the iPad, you use the full big screen, almost like a whiteboard, um, to use your finger to do the calculations. So just to show you that it does work, you can do it with anything. You can do it with square roots, decimal places, and it works every time, as long as your handwriting, of course, is mildly legible. It's a really, really cool application, and again, really just a must-have for the iPad. So if you've gone and downloaded any of those applications or you've just enjoyed watching this video, remember to give me a thumbs up because it really helps me. And also subscribe for lots more iPad, iPhone and iPod Touch reviews on General Tech HQ. Just to remind you of the top 10 applications that I've just reviewed, they were Twitter, Facebook, Flight Radar 24 Pro, iPhoto, Padgram, Real Racing 3, Google Earth, iSlash HD, Google Chrome Browser and MyScript Calculator. Thanks a lot guys, that was Dan from General Tech HQ.